story? Okay. okay. So tennis balls, after you do the roller, right? Big encouragement on the roller to not uh, ditch that iliotibial band. <laughs> so first thing I'm doing is this kind of hold, right? And I'm pressing those balls up into my skull so that I can enjoy this kind of move. Now, if you love being here, you can roll up a towel and put it right there in your neck. Good. Um, after you've been there to your heart's content, then you interlace your fingers, put them behind your head, and start allowing the balls to move more toward the deep valley of the neck. So I'm just tossing my head side to side and enjoying the moves to release in the neck. This is so connected to the flossing at the end, right? Now, I'm in the deepest part of my neck now. So now I start pressing into my feet so I can go even lower. And I press, 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 getting every little of the seven vertebrae, every single one. Now I'm starting to climb the mountain up C6 and C7. I can feel myself summiting at the top, still tossing my head side to side, pressing into my feet, and then I start going over the other side of the mountain. Now, I can continue like this if it feels good. Alternatively, I might put my head down and just move my arms around. I want to get the whole shoulder blade area. Also, I like doing some side bending in this area. Feels really good. Side bending, twisting. Right, anything to create movement until I get to the bottom of the shoulder blades. Then I put my head down, release the arms, maybe start working through the pelvis. Right, we want movement. Movement in the area. So that's the last few thoracic vertebrae. Moving myself all the way down, getting into the lumbar spine. We didn't do this, but some people love to. Be like this in the lumbar spine. Hmm. You can check it out. A lot of creativity encouraged here. There'll be a moment though, there's another mountain. That's my sacrum. To get up and over it would take a big effort. Instead, I turn the balls 90 degrees, the bottom ball on the tailbone, top ball on the upper sacrum, and here I go. Back and forth, back and forth, just really releasing through the hips. And after I've enjoyed that, I come over to the front thigh, place the balls at the diaphragm, and wiggle my way all the way to the pubic bone. Take your time, see what you find, enjoy. When you're all done with the roller and the tennis balls, then it's your moment to come onto your back body. Work on the flossing you did you really got what happens with the pelvis. It's an inhale and an exhale. See if you can really release the head so it follows because on the inhale, it's just natural for the chin to drop. You don't want to create that. Just allow the chin to drop. You'll feel it. And then on the exhale, when this flattens down here, then that chin just releases. So there's an inhale and an exhale. And then there's this natural excursion of the head. Make sure your jaw is nice and relaxed. Several breaths like this. It's allowing the spine to undulate. And then you're good to go.